Well, good morning, magandang umaga, and welcome to today's episode of My PI Dream. Now that didn't work too good. Let's try this again. Well, good morning, magandang umaga, and welcome to today's episode of My PI Dream. Today, we're going to talk about what just happened when you are at a distance even using a shotgun boom mic like we have here on our gopro as an accessory and when you start getting some distance away from the camera you start noticing that you're really losing a lot of your audio capability or your volume how can we fix that i think you might find today's episode to be very interesting so without further delay let's get today's video underway So today's episode is going to be all about trying to provide better audio to you, the YouTube viewer. And we have a lot of subscribers that always make really great comments about how good the audio is on our channel here. And it has to do with the Rode boom mic that we use on this camera. And I'll take a picture here in just a minute and show you. We have a Rode boom mic. And when you say boom, it is basically a microphone that projects forward towards you and it eliminates a lot of the noise that occur around the sides or behind the microphone. So that was one of our upgrades early in the video series here at My PR Dream that we did to provide better audio to you, uh, the YouTube viewer. Uh, but I notice sometimes as I get distance away from the camera, even though it is a shotgun boom type of a mic, which is directional, as you get away, the amplification of your voice just doesn't make it to the microphone itself. Even with all of the technology of the boom mic itself, it's just distance just puts more of a uh, dropping of your volume. So what we're going to do today, we're going to experiment. We're going to try a new product. Now recently being a guest on a YouTube drone channel, uh, one of my friends who is the host, as well as his co-host suggested that I try a wireless microphone solution. And their recommendation was to use the same company that we use here with our shotgun microphone here made by the company Rode. Now the Rode Go 2 is a very sophisticated piece of hardware. And what it does, it takes a individual transmitter hooked up to a little wire that goes to a little like a lavalier microphone and it transmits back to a receiver that you put on your camera. You can actually mount it to the cold shoot of your camera. Uh, you can use two of those. The reason it's called go to is because it's two transmitters. So you can have yourself and another person hooked up to this camera and get very good audio which it combines and it puts on your recording of your camera. Uh, but the the cost of that product was quite high after I went and researched. And although I monetize my channel right here, I am not a YouTube millionaire. I have to be frugal with the little bit of income and resources that we receive here on YouTube. So I did some shopping around and I found an alternate solution uh, to the Rode Go 2. And it happens to be this right here, the Boya BY WM4 Pro K2 very similar characteristics very similar capabilities with a slight difference that we'll talk about in just a minute but this was selling for about one-third the cost of the road go to it has two transmitters has one receiver does basically the same thing but i'll again i will talk about the difference between this one the main difference that i could see between this one and the road transmitter receiver microphone let's go ahead Open this up, take a look at what's inside, and go ahead and test it out. Now, no product review would be uh, would be complete without doing a box opening. So let's go ahead and open up the box and see what's inside. I always enjoy box openings, seeing something brand new. Well, this is nice. It comes with a handy dandy case, some instructions, some advertisements, maybe a registration card, 
Uh, let's go ahead and let's open it up before we actually look at the instruction manual. Now inside, inside the, the nice carrying case we have here, we see a transmitter, a transmitter, and a receiver. We see some mounting gear inside here, and this would go to the cold shoe on the top of your camera. We have a cable here, another cable, and yet an, a couple of other cables here, two microphones right here. So we'll kind of figure out what these all go to here in just a moment. After reading a little bit about what these cables are inside, kind of identify them. I mean, this is the cable that goes, uh, makes the connection to your smartphone because this will actually work well with specific type of phones. And this one right here is your connection between here and your, like your GoPro camera. Also, what I didn't mention, inside here is a couple of windscreens for the lavalier microphone. Now, each one of the transmitter and receiver devices inside here, each one take two AAA batteries. So I'm gonna go ahead and install some batteries inside here, do a brief overview uh, for myself of the instructions. And this isn't going to be a setup video for today. We're just going to show, do these work? So we'll try to get it set up as quick as possible and we'll do a review on the quality of the system right here. Now I said I really wasn't gonna talk about setup too much, but it's relatively easy. On one of the units, uh, the, the receiver, you have a, where is it, the plus and minus. You see the plus and minus right here. So the pair of this, you would turn this on, you would turn this unit on right here, you, you would push both the plus and minus here, at the same time, on the, re the transmitter, you would press the pair and you will wait for the receiver light to go solid blue. But when I turn this on from the very beginning, which I'll show you here, you see it's flashing and I turn the power on to the transmitter, the blue light is automatically solid blue, which means it's already paired. So it was paired right out of the box. Now on the receiver, you just hook up to the line out here and then the line out. Uh, you will take the other end and you'll connect this to your camera or your whatever device is recording and on your transmitter which is what you would clip onto your belt on the little microphone symbol right here you would connect of course the microphone and you would take this and there'll be a little clip that I got to put on here and you'll put this like on the collar of your shirt or at the very top of your shirt so you can talk in this area how we're gonna start out, we're gonna start with the road for comparison. So you hear my voice here on the road, and the road is usually very clear. That's what I like about road. Very high quality microphone. But I'm going to walk away, and let's see what happens as I walk away. So I'm gonna go back here, and I'm gonna start heading back here to the Jurassic Park lemon tree. Start moving back a little bit further. Go back here towards the mango. I don't even know if you can hear me. I don't think you're going to hear me very good. Now let's try out our new wireless microphone by Boya. Now here we are. We're using the new Boya wireless microphone here. And I'm right up next to the camera. Uh, but it shouldn't make any difference as I walk away. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to continue to walk back. Walk back. Back here by the Jurassic Lemon Tree. Uh, by the pomegranate, back here by the Indian mango, and I'm going to keep going back. I'm going to see how far I can actually go. I'm going to continue going back here. Uh, you probably won't even see me after a while, uh, but let me know what the audio quality is on this compared to the audio quality from the, the microphone that has the boom. What do you think? That's going to be about it for today's episode uh, on the review of the Boya wireless mic system. Uh, I'm going to let you be the judge. Uh, you can tell me, you can tell me yourself what you think about this system. Now, those who have the Rode uh, comparable wireless microphone system to this one right here, also let me know what do you think this sounds like compared to what you're getting from your wireless mic system. I did say this costs about one-third the price 
of the road system. Now the road system also has some advanced features that this one doesn't. Although we have two transmitters here, they both are combined on one track when it goes into your camera. So it records, it's not like a left channel and a right channel where I believe the road has a capability of separating. It's actually two tracks that it lays down. And you, if you're doing something like post editing and you wanna hear one person in one side of the speaker or maybe push it more towards that and have another person talking to the other, you have that capability that you don't have here. This is all on one track, you can't do that. But for the price and for what we normally do here on our channel right here, I think it's okay. I think we're good with only using one mono track between the, the two microphones. Well, that's about it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and I hope you've got some good information if you're in the market for trying to improve some of your vlogging here on YouTube, whatever social media that you uh, are working with. Well, if you did enjoy today's episode, please give me a thumbs up, please share, it. and if you haven't subscribed, just click on that little My PI Dream heart in the bottom right-hand side of your screen, and if you ring that bell, you will be notified the next time I upload a new video. So until next time from right here in the Philippines, you have a wonderful and blessed day. today's episode and you would like to see more just like these just click on one of the helpful links over to your right and you might be able to pick up on some good information on DIY projects how to or if you are interested in moving to the Philippines and building you'll find answers there as well